for coming out today for the grand reopening of the concessions area at Liberty Park. Uh, this is the most beloved park in our city. It's an awesome place to gather and it's kind of Salt Lake City's big backyard. So uh, I'm not going to say much. I want to turn the time over to the mayor and then to Council Member Mendenhall and then we'll play. All right. Thanks, guys. Here's the mayor. Hey, very good. Very exciting, right? Well, thank you for coming today. This is a moment in time that I will always remember. Part of what I wanted to do when I came in as mayor um, was to make sure our community was truly built for everyone. And part of what happened in this uh, work that's been done here um, has been to make this more ADA accessible. And that's a very important thing to me as a mayor. Um, so we have a lot of work to do, but we are making visible change. And um, this is one of those moments where you will see that. Um, of course, Salt Lake City is um, very proud of our parks. And yes, this is the heartland, uh, our Salt Lake City Central Park. Um, all the more reason that it needs to be accessible. So thanks to parks and public lands, engineering, planning, historic landmark commission, Tracy Avery, and especially our community members, the concession area in Liberty Park is once again for everyone to use. This beautiful project was done based on city and community priorities. The work preserved and spotlighted the historic elements of this area, including the stone bridge, flower planters, and of course, the rides. And perhaps most importantly, our city was able to once again honor those who have served by making needed upgrades to our veterans of World Wars uh, monument that you see here. We know Salt Lake City residents love their parks. I know it brings great joy to our entire city staff to be able to make upgrades like this that we see. This is the fun part of Lisa's job. So I look forward to coming here uh, with my wife and kids and um, testing out the rides this summer. And once again, thank you for coming and supporting the work that we are doing in Salt Lake City. Thank you, Mayor, and thank you for being here. Uh, this is an exciting project in the crown jewel of Salt Lake City's park system. 730 acres of parks in Salt Lake City. We are rich with parks, but you are sitting in the big fat diamond on the necklace right here. Our parks department is one of the greatest divisions in our city. Uh, Lisa Schaefer is a wonderful director and her staff is incredible. And you can see that as you walk around this park and experience it, whether it's first thing in the morning when the sun's coming up or right here in the shade during the hot afternoon or in the evening walking your dog after work. This is the place to be in Salt Lake City and it's what makes District 5 amazing. In addition, I want to recognize these Youth City kids. Are you all from Youth City? Yeah. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Uh, John Lyman and Youth City, Kim, and all those who host our kids, Liberty Park is, is a home away from home for many Salt Lake City residents, kids. And we're so glad you can be here and glad we have a fresh place for you to play. I've already lost my kids somewhere in the playground. I only see one, one of three here. here. <laughs> uh, the funding for this project was awarded by the Salt Lake City Council, and that is one of the fun things we sometimes get to fund. Um, we are... I, I wanted to just bring up a couple of the uh, historic points of this park. Um, it was established in 1881. The park is on the National Register of Historic Places and it was designated a Salt Lake City landmark site, meaning that it's played a lead role in the character building of Salt Lake City. Only in Liberty Park can you ride a Ferris wheel, host a barbecue, barbecue play beach volleyball or tennis, swim, tour an aviary and a museum, and take a paddle boat ride all in one place. That's just to mention a few of the things happening here at the park. The concession area, I mean, food, my life revolves around food and my next meal anyway, and I think when you come to the park, this is the place, and we're, glad, we're grateful for the good food that's provided here by our great concessionaires. Um, the ride and concessions have been a unique and beloved amenity in this park for a very long time. 
where countless generations have come. Uh, my own uncle collected uh, pedal cars, airplane pedal cars, and when I brought him here from Virginia, he fell in love and wanted to bring my kid back and has to ride the pedal cars that are part of the ride just back there. This, this park is steeped in history and family history as well. Um, so I want to thank you all for being here. Thank the kids. I hope you get stamps on your hand because we're going to go ride some rides right now. Thank you, everybody. Craig Silverstein, I didn't know if you wanted to say a couple. Do you want to say anything, Craig? Yeah. Come on, sure? up. Come on up. Come on up. Craig is the concessionaire here at Liberty Park. Please support uh, our local concessionaire. Um, he provides really delicious food. I've heard they're one of the best hamburgers in the city. So uh, come out and support him. Craig? Is it this one? Hey, and I just want to thank everyone for coming out. It's great. Uh, we do have the dollar rides. And I want to mention that we are going to continue the dollar rides on Mondays, on Monday evenings, like from 3 to 7. So... Um, That'll be newly added this year, and we appreciate you guys coming in and uh, have fun. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Stay here. <laughs> 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 <laughs>